Thank you so much, Cecilia. And um, those very cool slides, I'm told that um, if anyone here in the uh, 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 group wants them, uh, they can be made available. They were, they were really very cool. I thought a little bit about what each of these uh, speakers have said to us today, and they've all been really inspiring. Um, Thomas said, what is your brave? And through my work at the BBC, I, I don't necessarily think I'm brave, but I, I feel like I've ditched my job description and I've been a bit of a risk taker. So I'd like to just show you a, a small video um, of some of the work that I do. I've come to Ukraine a country at war for four years. There are 3,800 images here. 3,800 soldiers who have lost their lives in a war that most Ukrainians blame on Russian aggression. Kidnapping, extortion, organized crime are already part of daily life here in Basra, Iraq's second city. Now, there's a new threat, crystal meth. I've been invited to join the police front line. This is the elite force that goes out every night on raids to try and crack down on organized crime in this city. That's it. Two months after Maria, this US territory and its American citizens are still suffering. How do you now see life without your son? The bulk of this city is just completely destroyed and devastated. There's nothing left, nothing that's now not untouched. I can't even begin to imagine what it would have been like for the people trapped in the city. They weren't allowed out, ISIS wasn't letting them, and there was constant bombardment here and now everything is destroyed. So I tell stories uh, for a living and whether I'm in Mosul in northern Iraq or whether I go to Jakarta or Mexico City, I think what I've learnt uh, through the power of storytelling is that Everyone is unique. Everyone has an extraordinary story to tell. And I'd like to bring that back here to the room uh, because you all have a point of difference. And, uh, you know, we were talking earlier, Caroline was talking about use what you've got uh, to, to sort of make yourself stand out from the crowd. And for me, it was my personal journey, my, my family's uh, escape in the dead of night from Afghanistan. My father took his young family in 1983 uh, and fled the Soviet uh, invasion of the country. I was six months old uh, at the time, strapped to my mom's back and taken into Pakistan where they stayed for two years before they moved to Australia. And I worked as a, uh, a reporter and a correspondent there before uh, moving to London and working for the BBC. And what I've discovered through the power of storytelling is that Everyone's story might be different, but no matter where I go in the world, people's dreams are the same. And whether that's finding success in your work or, or falling in love or gaining something in your career. And, you know, I meet the most brave and extraordinary people all over the world. But what I've learned here today from our speakers is that you don't have to do major things in the world to bring about change and to do something brave. You can do them in your workplace. You can do them in your community. You can do them within your family. Um, and so what we'd really like is to pick up on the theme of what is your brave? And what we'd like you to do is to think about uh, throughout the day what brave action you would like to take. And we'd like you to write it down. And at some point in the day this afternoon, we'd like to discuss those and, and share it. Um, I'll be calling on some people from the audience to tell us what their brave is. And we'd like you to share it with the person sitting next to you so that we can get a sense of what you've taken away from, from today. So that brings us to the close of our first section um, of, of uh, our uh, morning. Uh, and before we head off to the flight gallery for a coffee break, let's just see what Lance has been um, creating for us this morning. 
That's very cool, and we'll have m many more of those uh, today. And as, as Gemma was saying, <laughs> you want to take that in? Oh, yeah, we've got a few more. Fantastic. Um, so we, we'll have many more of those uh, throughout the day. And as Gemma was saying, if you can think of one or two um, uh, line briefs for the School of Communication Art, do let them know um, of those that you're working on.